Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician, and as of right now, a barrier impaired individual. Yes, I compromise my skin barrier. It happens to the best of us. Especially when you're in the position of being a content creator, you use a bunch of products, a bunch of products. You tend to exfoliate a lot. And on filming days, sometimes you're filming several videos that either require you to do several routines in one day, or you're applying a lot of things you need to wash off. So you're just overwashing your face. And that leads to a compromised barrier. But never fear, never fret. It's definitely something that a first priority with skin is focus on your skin barrier. And today's video is gonna be about the specific type of routine and the products and ingredients that I really look forward to when I have a compromised barrier so that I can help nurture, nourish, and re-strengthen and repair that barrier. And while I'm gonna be talking about my general nighttime and daytime routine when I have a compromised barrier, today's video is also gonna be done in partnership with e.l.f. to highlight their new Pure Skin collection. I'm gonna be talking about the three products from the line launch in addition to my other favorite skincare ingredients and products that I also like to use when I'm working on repairing and strengthening my skin barrier. So what is a skin barrier and how do you know if it's compromised? Well, basically your skin barrier is the barrier on the utmost, topmost layer of your skin. It's composed of two main components. You have a brick and mortar structure. The brick, which is these flat and dead skin cells called corneocytes, held together in this lipid matrix. That's what the mortar is. And that lipid matrix is composed of a lot of things, but primarily you're looking at ceramides, fatty acids, and cholesterol. And those are familiar because we oftentimes see those ingredients and products that are meant to repair the skin barrier and fortify it because what's nice is if you deplete those things from your skin barrier, it's very easy to go and replace them by applying them topically. And so why is it important to maintain the integrity of the skin barrier? Well, it's a barrier for a reason. It keeps aggressors and other things out that we don't want to penetrate the skin, as well as keeping important things like hydration within the skin. And so when that barrier is compromised, irritants, bacteria, all these things we don't want to penetrate the skin are able to more effectively do so. And you're not able to maintain and retain hydration in your skin. A very telltale sign, the most apparent sign, is if you have redness, like very irritated, inflamed skin, dryness slash dehydration. You don't have the normal amount of lipids and oils in your skin, as well as you're not able to then retain the hydration that's within your skin. So oftentimes you feel very, very tight, very, very dry. Some people suffer from breakouts as a symptom of having a compromised barrier. And also if things that normally don't sting your skin are stinging your skin, it's also a very good sign as well. You're irritated, your skin Skin, just can't handle any products that aren't very simple, very plain. How do you end up compromising your skin barrier? Over exfoliation, over cleansing, sun exposure is also a really good one of sunburns. And for me, it's primarily that over cleansing and over exfoliating. So what a routine looks like when you have a compromised skin barrier, back to basics, no actives, no exfoliants, no retinoids, really simple things. You really want to focus on being really gentle, nurturing your skin, hydrating and locking in the hydration and using a good amount of occlusives, even having oily acne prone skin, if I have a damage barrier, I go heavy with occlusives. Those are the things that help to lock in hydration, kind of like a layer of saran wrap that act as a layer to trap in water underneath. The most common one is going to be Vaseline. Think of something like Vaseline. So to get into the routine, in order to make my cleansing a lot more gentle, a little bit more streamlined, I will be going in with a double cleanse. First product I'm going to be using is from Skin 1004, their Centella Light Cleansing Oil. I will be doing a double cleanse just because that oil-based cleanser helps helps to very gently break down anything that's oil-based on the surface, rinses it off really easy so that my second cleanse can honestly be a lot quicker, a lot more gentle, but still be very efficient. So I'm getting a good thorough cleanse. So I'll be taking that oil cleanser first on dry skin, working that in, and then I'll be emulsifying that. Worth noting with that first cleanse, obviously Centella was in that title. Centella Asiatica is one of my favorite ingredients, period, but specifically for helping with a compromised skin barrier. A, it's known for its wound healing properties and really helping to promote moisturization in the skin. It's a really useful ingredient for skin moisturization and barrier repair, and it helps to calm down inflammation in the skin. Now that that's done, I'll be going with my second cleanse, and this is the Pure Skin Cleanser from e.l.f. So with the Pure Skin line, the primary focus is three ingredients, oat milk, ceramides, and niacinamide. The goal and the objective behind them is back to basics, very simple. All the products are fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and they're really intended to just really moisturize the skin to really help to build and restrengthen the skin barrier. For example, the Pure Skin Cleanser is focusing on oat milk, niacinamide, and allantoin, which are ingredients that help to soothe the skin, and those also help to build up and restrengthen the skin barrier. You also have things like chamomile as well as ceramide. So what this cleanser is, is a very creamy, very moisturizing cleanser. It's non-foaming. It's going to help to effectively wash the face, but it's not going to give you a rich lather or it's not going to foam in any capacity. So this is a great cleanser for every skin type, 
really recommend this for sensitive skin, compromised skin, and dry skin, because it just feels like you are cleansing your face with a very velvety moisturizer. So this is after the cleanse. You can see my skin is still feeling very moisturized. I feel very, very soft, honestly. So now I'm gonna be going in with the toner, as I mentioned, and I have oily skin, but I have dehydrated skin in general. So I love a very hydrating toner. As I mentioned, when you have a compromised barrier, you're not able to retain hydration in your skin very well. So when I have a compromised barrier, I go in with the hydrators because I want to make sure that I have very supple hydration within my epidermis, my skin, and then afterwards I'll go in and lock it in. And those two factors together are really helpful when, again, restoring a skin barrier. So this is the Pure Skin Toner, and this one specifically highlights oat milk, aloe juice, and niacinamide once again. Soothing, you have barrier strengthening, and then you have really nice hydrating ingredients in here as well. You also have ceramides and cholesterol. You do have chamomile again, palantoin, sodium PCA, which is a very important component in natural moisturizing factors in the skin and then you also have hyaluronic acid in here as well so you just have a lot of really good ingredients to help hydrate your skin really nourish that barrier when it comes to a toner we are not using a cotton pad we are putting it straight into our hands and we are patting it into our skin I'm going to do a few drops into my hands place and press the hydration in and because we're building up the hydration we will be going in and doing a few layers of this and if I can describe the texture to me, it is actually verging on very Korean-esque. So it's lightweight by every means possible. Like it's not very sticky, it's not very heavy. You're not gonna feel greasy or tacky on the skin, but you do feel there's like a plushness to it that it is very, very hydrating. You do feel the humectants in there, really doing what they need to do without feeling like it's too heavy on the skin. Because this is a barrier routine, again, I'm gonna do as much possible. This is all about TLC, honestly. So I'm gonna be going in with the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. It's all in the name. You have avocado, very nourishing, oil so you have some emollients in there ceramides skin barrier important components and it's a recovery serum it's really intended to soothe the skin repair and aid in repairing a compromised barrier generally when i have a compromised barrier i have most of the symptoms right here next to my nose and right next to my eyes right here in this area that's where i get really really red i get the breakouts here i get the tightness and the dryness in this area and irritation random things will irritate me here around my eyes that's usually when i know like i've overdone it with the exfoliant as a serum, this is a little bit more milky. There is a little bit more body, more something going on to it. It's not a very watery, hydrating serum only. I wouldn't say this is a moisturizer. For oily skin though, during the summer, this might suffice. So this is honestly something that fits into my routine nicely without, again, bogging it down, feeling too heavy, but I feel like it is doing work and helping to assist my barrier when it needs it. And now that we got that yummy, supple, juicy hydration in the skin, we gotta lock it in. That's very integral at this point. So a good moisturizer is important. And what are the three components of a good moisturizer right now. We're looking for ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acid. And so with that, we have the Pure Skin Moisturizer. This one's highlighting, again, oat milk, soothing, ceramides, barrier strengthening, and then niacinamides. So with that, anti-inflammatory, as well as assisting in skin barrier repair. Beyond that, you do have, again, fatty acids, cholesterol, all that. And then you have chamomile, you have hyaluronic acid, and you have allantoin. So honestly, these keep things very simple. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. You have the ingredients that are going to help to soothe the skin, hydrate the skin, the emollients, and then the occlusives and the moisturizer as well. So very basic, very, very approachable, and very, very sensitive skin friendly, which is what really matters right now. So you can see, I take a couple of pumps, worth it into my face. This is not a gel moisturizer by any means. This is more of a lotion texture. It definitely has a little bit more body and richness to it. So when it comes to having oily skin, that is something that is worth noting. But realistically, when you have a compromised barrier, you do have to go a little bit more heavy. I think with the emollients and the occlusives, again, you really want to have those emollients to really soften the skin cells, smooth them out, and then those occlusives to help lock in that hydration those humectants that we really want in our skin. It's kind of like putting the bandaid on the wound. You need that protection. You do need a little bit extra help. It's not a heavy, greasy moisturizer by any means, but you definitely do feel the body. You do feel the texture of it on the skin. Some other moisturizing steps to consider though, if you definitely want to have some options, a sleeping mask, which is essentially just a glorified moisturizer. This one's from Dr. Jart. This features Centella. It's part of their Seek Pair line. Again, as I mentioned with the oil cleanser, Centella, a godsend for compromised skin, irritated skin, a sleeping mask essentially is a moisturizer that focuses a little bit more on the occlusion step. What I appreciate about this one is it has that ability to be occlusive, but it's a gel texture. It feels like a thick hair gel. And what's nice about that gel texture is it's very lightweight. You do feel that it sets down and kind of forms this gel-based film on the skin, and that's how it kind of sets.
sets in to lock in the hydration. And if you want a more heavy duty occlusive option to really amp up and level up your moisturization, good old fashioned Vaseline, petrolatum, petroleum jelly. This is straight occlusive. If you look at the ingredients list, it's just petroleum jelly and that functions to seal in the hydration. So I will do my hydrating steps. I will still use a moisturizer because I want the extra ingredients the moisturizer offers and then I'll use this on top and that just seals the deal in. Daytime, let's pretend it's daytime now. We still want the same functions in our morning routine. We still want to make sure that we are hydrating our skin, protecting our skin, but I do a different approach. In the morning, I wouldn't cleanse. Cleansing is important at the end of the day to wash off all the dirt and all the stuff that's accumulated on the face throughout the day. But in the morning, if you feel like the nighttime skincare was a lot and you still have some of the Vaseline, for example, you still feel like some of the skincare is still on your face, do a gentle cleanse. And again, a gentle milky cleanser that's not foaming, not stripping, is going to rinse that off while not compromising your skin. And then I'll follow that up with my hydrating steps, my antioxidants for the day or whatnot. So I would go in and do a couple layers of the toner like I did for the nighttime routine. If you want to moisturize, moisturize, especially if you have more dry skin, but I have oily skin and sometimes I wear makeup and too many layers isn't right for me, even if I have a compromised barrier. So I will go straight in with a sunscreen and that gives me moisturization as well as sun protection. If you have oily skin, you want a really lightweight, pure gel texture. This one from Round Lab, this is their birch sunscreen, is a beautiful option. You have niacinamide, allantoin, chamomile, so it's actually very consistent with the e.l.f. products, but it's just a very lightweight texture and you have really nice ingredients to help really soothe the skin and it's lightweight, so it's not going to be a very, very heavy moisturizing layer. Alcohol, fragrance, essential oil free. It leaves a natural finish. It's a very lightweight gel texture and no white cast. If you want a glow and you want hydration, which again, hydration is really important, but if you want to focus on hydration, the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel from Isentree is a beautiful option. This features eight different weights of hyaluronic acid. Again, this is alcohol, fragrance, and essential oil free. This leaves more of a radiant finish, that's for sure, but it also leaves no white cast as well. And the last one I recommend is a mineral option, but this is great for literally every skin tone, but this is definitely a very radiant, very emollient, semi-shiny finish. Very shiny finish. This is from Kotz. It's their Flawless Complexion SPF 50. And again, what I appreciate is that this does work on even very, very deep skin tones, but it does leave you very, very shiny. So this is more recommended if you have more dry skin and you don't mind that glow. This one is only mineral filters. It is free of alcohol, fragrance, and essential oils. Sunscreen is important, obviously for everyone all year long, but especially if your barrier is compromised, you want to protect it in every capacity. That was my nighttime and daytime general skincare routine when I have a compromised skin barrier. Again, with the e.l.f. Pure Skin line, you're getting three products. You have their cleanser, their moisturizer, and their toner. As with all e.l.f things. You are confident in the fact that it is accessible, inclusive, and it's affordable, which are things that are very important to me, obviously on this platform. And I'll have links for all these down below in the description box as well so that you can get your hands on them. Let me know down below in the comment section, what other ingredients do you personally like to use when you have a compromised barrier? What are some different skincare products that you find really help you in working to repair and re-strengthen your barrier? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and Fenty related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye!